it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below coming into the current moment we have the two of swords what is influencing the two of swords the current situation is the ace of pentacles all right what happened in the past queen of pentacles in reverse what's on your mind aquarius is the ten of swords in reverse why is all this happening is the wheel of fortune what will aquarius be experiencing in the distant future is the five of swords and the overall energy we have is the five of pentacles who's being left out in the cold aquarius right someone's left out in the cold someone stuck in the rut in the past or someone stopped investing into a connection or it could be someone who was very very focused in the past on their finances okay you could be dealing with an earth sign a taurus virgo capricorn we have the queen of pentacles in reverse this is a woman who is very very focused on her financial independence on her own self okay she's doing herself first current situation you're ignoring or choosing not to see a situation clearly okay you could be at a crossroads you could be trying to make a decision okay if you want a new beginning with someone or not all right there is a situation that you're choosing not to see clearly what's influencing this is the ace of pentacles you want a financial you want a new beginning with someone okay something solid something committed this is a small seed a gift from the universe but you just need to choose very clearly if you want this or not on your mind is healing there's a turn of swords in reverse so you could be healing from a betrayal healing from um a situation that gave you a lot of pain healing from a breakup whatever have you it's healing from an emotional trauma of some sort you're healing from it you're getting over a situation and in in the near future you'll be experiencing the five of swords that's conflict i feel more for fighting for yourself or walking away we'll see the clarifiers will change the game and why all this is happening because you want things to move your way or because things are finally going to go your way we have the wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune is um basically big changes coming your way okay it's all about the timing it's destined it's fated okay the the wheel's going to start turning it depends on you whether you want to hop on or not but right now I see you're feeling left out. I don't think this is a separation, but I just feel this is you feeling left out from someone. Someone's not giving you attention or someone's just giving you the cold shoulder, you know? All right. Let's clarify. Please clarify the 5 of pentacles. Why is the 5 of pentacles as the overall energy of your Aquarius? Because nothing's moving forward. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So there could be a situation that, you know, it's just taking circles, okay? It's going round and round and round, but you're just getting nowhere with it. Either someone has was making you an offer, or you were making an offer to someone, and things just completely came to a halt, or this is just a situation which is getting nowhere, okay? And that's why you're just feeling left out. You just don't know what's happening. Apply for the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, sorry. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? All right, this has to do with a commitment or a marriage situation. So what I see is the overall energy is that you're being left out by someone. You want to make an offer to someone, but it's just not happening. You every time, say every single time, you get into a situation with this person, and there is just no conclusion. Either you want this has to do with a commitment, or this is someone you want to marry, or this is someone who is already married. All right, this definitely has something to do with marriage. Clarify the hierophant. Why is the hierophant here? You could be dealing with the Taurus. Clarify the hierophant here, please. Yeah, but you want to communicate. You want to communicate this to someone. Either you want to communicate that you want to get married to them or you want a commitment with them or you want to move forward with them in some traditional way, okay? But there is communication coming in. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the past for Aquarius? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the past for Aquarius, please? Yeah. So probably in the past we have the two of swords in reverse. Someone in the past made a decision. Okay, they saw things clearly. They're focused on their independence. Like I said, they're focused on their money. Someone's focused on themselves. They're not really into um, 
commitment or probably this is just someone who's just taking care of their needs first and and now you see things clearly you see things for what it is clear for the two of swords in reverse clear for the two of swords in reverse yeah and you stop investing into this relationship it's the eight of pentacles in reverse you're not investing into this relationship anymore or connection whatever it is why is the two of swords as the current situation Apply for the Two of Swords here as the current situation for Aquarius. Why is the Two of Swords as the current situation for Aquarius? Clarify by the Nine of Wands. So you're blocking or ignoring your heart chakra. You're not opening yourself. Your, your emotions are suppressed, I feel. This is fear, okay? You have a lot of fear that things may not go your way. That's why you're unsure whether you want to give this commitment. You want this new beginning with this person or not. Because we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. You're you're giving up on a situation you're tired wounded beaten frustrated irritated but uh you're not even um yeah so the nine of wands in reverse you're not even fighting for this connection anymore i think you're done with this it's more like enough is enough you could this person could have been very in and out of your life you know like yeah clever for the nine of wands in reverse what's the nine of wands in reverse yeah this could be someone, this could be a Pisces that you're dealing with or you could have Pisces in your birth chart. This could be someone who's very stubborn, okay? Or this is just you releasing. Let's see what you're releasing if you're releasing something. Can I put the hangman in reverse? What is the hangman in reverse? What is the hangman in reverse? You're releasing any pain, betrayal that you had in the past, okay? We have the Ten of Swords in reverse in the current situation as a clarifier and on your mind. So there is some betrayal, some emotional trauma that you're getting over, okay? Yeah. So that's what you're doing. You're blocking your heart chakra because you're done. You're fed up with the situation. And if you were holding on to any past pain, you're releasing it. You're releasing that pain. Maybe you're releasing this and you want to, uh, uh, you're, you're thinking of starting this new beginning with this person. Try for the Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles influencing the situation? Try for the Ace of Pentacles. Please. Yeah. But you're lacking motivation. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. I told you, there is someone who's in and out of your life, okay? One second they're passionate about you and the second minute they're not. Either this is you or this is another fire sign that you're dealing with, okay? This is someone very impulsive, very reckless, okay? They're very directionless, I think, you know? Could be a player, doesn't have to be. But this is the kind of person that you want a commitment with, okay? Either this is you this, or this could be the other person, okay? Someone's just not taking action. They're very fickle, if you understand what I'm saying. Clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Yeah. And that's giving you no clarity. We have the Sun in reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo. This entire situation of this person in and out, in and out, is not giving you any clarity. There's a lot of pessimistic energy around this, okay? It's just making you very... This, there's just no clarity in this situation, I must say. We have the Sun here, so there could be kids involved, okay? Clive for the sun in reverse. Clive for the sun in reverse. Yeah, but you still want to take action. You still want to take action. You still want this person very much. Maybe if this is if this is not a, a, a male and if you're the female, then you're very passionate about this person, okay? Or you want this person to take action. I feel you still want this person to take action or you still want to take this action, okay? Because we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is influencing the situation of Two of Swords. You may be blocked in your head, but you definitely are thinking about this new beginning and you want to take action. I didn't ask anything, but we have the Three of Swords. I think could 100% be a third party uh, involved, okay? Look, Ten of Swords is also a betrayal card. Either you've been betrayed or there was a third party situation that you found out about. But, yeah. Clap for the Ten of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse on Aquarius's mind? Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse here? Yeah. You're getting over the hurt and you're walking away. What I need to say is, are you walking away from this person or walking away from whatever didn't make you happy in the past? Are you walking away from the past situation or are you walking away from the person? Try for the Eight of Cups with this. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Try for the Eight of Cups. Yeah. You're walking away to give clarity or to get clarity. You're getting over past emotional trauma 
you're walking away from a past situation and you just want clarity. You have the king of swords here. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You just want the truth. That's all you want. Or probably you just walked away from this person who gave you a lot of heartache. And you just cut them off. You were like, you know what? I'm done. Bye-bye. Have fun. Class of the king of swords. Why is the king of swords here? The king of swords is a very logical man. You know, he doesn't deal with bullshit. He means business. He only thinks logically and reasoning that's all he doesn't think from his heart or emotions so yeah maybe you think the situation wasn't really working out and you're like you know what fuck it i'm done okay for the king of swords okay for the king of swords please yeah and there's a lack of new beginning you're shut down we have these cups in reverse so you walked away from a situation that wasn't really making you happy there could have been a lot of betrayal Emotion trauma, like I said, I sometimes I do repeat myself. I do. So, yeah, and now you're emotionally shut off. This is depression. You're just shut off completely. Okay? You're really sad, suppressed, and, you know, you cut this person off, right? You may love this person. You may have loved this person a lot. Of course, we have the Ten of Swords here. That's like overkill, but, yeah, you're shutting yourself down. This is like shutting down your emotions. You, that's why there's a lack of new beginning. You cut this person off. There's a lack of new beginning in love. Well, the Ace of Cups in reverse to me means sometimes is that we love someone so much that we forget to love ourselves. So Ace of Cups in reverse to, means, to me means lack of self-love. Love yourself first in order for someone else to love you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, but you want things to go your way? You want to express your feelings to someone? Or you want someone to express their feelings to you. Someone's going to come and express their feelings to you. Things are going to go your way, Aquarius. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But the problem is here that we we have a knight here. We we have a knight. Knights are travelers, okay? They come and they go. They come and they go, okay? They, they're not there to stay. So, yes, yeah, someone's going to express their feelings. The wheel's going to turn your way. Luck is going to be on your side. Things are going to change. Uh, according to you and luck is going to be on your side this is fated this is destiny. it's all about the time they're going to come and express your feeling and uh, their feelings to you or you're going to do that to them but it's a night nights are not stable i mean i always put their the travelers right try for the knight of cups try for the knight of cups please okay they're coming in. They're coming to give you this commitment. Now that now this is something good. We have commitment here. We have commitment in the overall energy. We have the higher fit. We have the king of pentacles here. So things are going to go your way. And someone's going to express their feelings. And they want to offer you commitment. They want to offer you marriage. All right. Clap the king of pentacles, please. Why for the King of Pentacles? What is this King of Pentacles for? Why is the Pent King of Pentacles here? Yeah. They want to fight for you. We have the Five of Wands. This is someone who wants to fight competition. They don't mind if there are too many people involved that they need to compete with. They're ready to compete for you. I don't see this as a conflict, but I see this as someone who is very determined and they'll fight for you. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow, let me clarify the Five of Wands. What is the Five of Wands doing here? What is this Five of Wands? <clears throat> what is this Five of Wands? Oh, <clears throat> we have the Chariot in reverse here, but things are still going to come to a halt. Or maybe if this is not what they're doing, maybe they're coming to you with this offer, with this commitment, but there's just a lot of issues between you both. This is arguments. Um pettiness you know or this is just someone who's going to be very conflicted in their head if they want to take your offer or not and that's why things are still going to be at a halt but you know what the chariot in reverse to me also means someone you know who's lost control of the situation okay probably because i think it's the five of wands here because there's just too many people involved a eh? too many conflicts between you both or you both not being on the same page okay this is someone who's just not being too figure the shit out you know and chariot in reverse is also a traveling card but it's in the reverse of course because we're in this isolation and quarantine so i'm assuming you can't really travel to the other person even if you want to you could be living at a distance from this person why is the five of swords here why will aquarius experience the five of swords in the future like the five of swords 
All right, five of swords with the strength in reverse. It could be dealing with a Leo. So I see that, you know what? Uh, it's going to be a conflict. You're going to be conflicted in your head about something, about the situation. And you're going to, you, you're not going to have the confidence if you can tame the beast, okay? I don't think you're going to be able to have the confidence if you can win this situation. Five of strength in reverse. This is someone who's being a coward, okay? He's not, this is someone who's not bossing up. They, they just don't have enough confidence that they are going to be able to win this situation. Clarify for the strength and reverse. Like I said before also, I also feel in the future, if this is not someone who's fighting, this is someone who's walking away because they're lacking confidence in this situation. Clarify for the strength and reverse. Yeah, because of lack of clarity. We have the ace of swords in reverse here. There's lack of clarity. There's, I think that there's going to be no communication. The, the, the need is for clear-cut communication, but there is no cutthroat communication. There's no breakthrough happening. There's the, the, there is a lack of success here because someone's lacking the confidence because someone feels they're playing mind games. Someone feels someone there's a lot of mind fuckery going on or someone's just playing mind games. They're lacking the confidence that this is just going to go through or not. Try for the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse here? Did a card flip? No. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? Why the Ace of Swords in reverse? And you guys are going to go on a break. Four of Swords. So, you know what? What I feel is that, that this has been a situation on and off. I'm assuming you could have cut this person off in the past, not investing into this situation. Because there could have been someone, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse to me is someone who is married and she could, that, that this is a woman who's married, stuck in a rut, or someone who is just a lockdown woman, okay? Could be someone who is separated, um, you know, or a divorcee or someone. But this is someone who's focusing on herself, okay? Maybe you saw the uh, reality. You saw things clearly and you stopped investing into this relationship. But now, I think you've healed from this situation, a betrayal, a past betrayal. And now you want to give this a second chance. But there's still a lot of mind games you feel someone's playing, you know. And that's why you feel you don't have enough strength. You, you, you're not feeling confident about the situation, I feel. And there's just going to be no... You, you know how you have that solid communication, you know, like that one-on-one -on -one clarity there is a lack of clarity here and you're again going on a break you're on a break you're going to be on a break in the future you're going to give this a thought like you know what contemplating meditative gathering your thoughts you're just not going to take any action but um someone wanted to make an offer someone was very close to making an offer but someone's married here someone's stuck in a commitment okay or in some kind of a traditional relationship. But yeah, there is someone who wants to communicate. Probably communicate that they want to commit to you. They just want to know. what. They just want to get a feel of the situation. I, I, I think, yeah. Alright Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, follow, subscribe, comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.